Dr. Deepak Srivastava has conducted industry-changing research and discovered life-saving solutions as a leader in cardiovascular developmental biology. Deepak has demonstrated an extraordinary commitment to improving lives through teaching, clinical care, leadership, and groundbreaking research on congenital heart disease. His numerous discoveries include identifying several genes and mechanisms that guide the development of the heart, demonstrating how a few specific genes can generate new cardiac cells to repair heart damage, and developing other novel therapeutic approaches to heart disease. He founded two biotechnology companies to translate his research into practical applications and therapies. Currently, Deepak serves as president of the Gladstone Institutes, director of the Roddenberry Stem Cell Center, and professor of pediatrics at the University of California, San Francisco. One nominator noted, throughout his career, Srivastava has repeatedly demonstrated an ability to make important discoveries of fundamental mechanisms of developmental biology and to connect them to human disease. Another nominator described Deepak as a scientific visionary, internationally renowned clinician scientist, an inspiring academic leader who has upheld the highest of ethical values. With great pride, we present the Distinguished Alumni Award to Deepak Srivastava. Thank you so much. I'm humbled to receive this award today. 35 years ago, as I walked across the stage to receive my Rice Diploma, I never imagined I would be here today in this position. What I did know even then, however, is that at, while at Rice, I got a foundation to think critically, work hard, be creative, and have a lot of fun along the way. And it was at Rice where I developed a deep belief that I really needed to make a dent in this world somehow. And for that, I will always be grateful to Rice. In addition to the great teachers that I had at Rice, I was heavily influenced by the great classmates that I had at Rice. And really it was the late night discussions and deep friend friendships that uh, I think in large part shaped me as an adult uh, for the rest of my life. And so I'm very happy that many of those friends are here celebrating with us today. I'd also like to thank my scientific mentors, Dr. Brad Thompson, who himself was a distinguished alumnus of Rice from the class of 1955, and Dr. Eric Olson, who remains a very close friend and colleague uh, for the last uh, 25 years now. They both taught me how to be not just a great scientist, but also to be a good mentor. And I've tried to do that over the years with my own trainees, both physicians and scientists who've come through my laboratory. And it's really their creative work that is the reason that I'm here in front of you today. And those trainees uh, came both at the University of Texas Southwestern Medical Center in Dallas, where I started my career, and at the Gladstone Institutes and University of California, San Francisco, where I've been for the last 16 years. I'm also grateful to my parents who inspired me uh, and really inspired my drive in education as my mother was a school teacher and my father was a scientist as well. And they both have had a huge impact on shaping who I am today in almost every respect. I'm also thankful to my older sisters, Sangeeta and Amita, who are both also Rice graduates. And uh, in fact, we all got to overlap for one year at Rice, which was a tremendous amount of fun. And most importantly, I want to thank my lovely wife, Denise, who's been with me on this fabulous journey for the last 30 years. And she's been a great partner with me in every way, including raising our three awesome teenagers, Claire, Dylan, and Sydney, who each have grown up to be kind and compassionate individuals. And we know that they are going to have their own impact on the world in the years ahead. I'm so proud to be part of the Rice University family and thank you so much for this award today.